Hey, it's Lauren. Thanks for joining me. I am going to be doing a makeup look recreation today. I bookmarked this look that uh, Violet posted about a week ago. It was for this like new Guerlain lipstick. I don't have any of the products. This lip color is amazing and it's like paired with this like kind of like worn in like bronzy eye. I'll link it. Uh, of course, I just thought it was gorgeous and then, you know, really pretty hydrated skin and it kind of looks like maybe some of the lip is used for the blush. I don't know. So I'm going to do my best to kind of recreate this. My skin is pretty dry, so I'm going to start out with giving some hydration. This was sent to me from Ole Henriksen. This is their strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer vegan peptide ceramides collagen yeah so this is like maybe my fifth time using it i've been kind of like layering it at night kind of like one of those skin barrier type of moisturizers and my skin is pretty tight it's finally gotten colder here in the la area so beginning to use beginning to use more than just the bare minimum moisture on my face. Very moisturizing, but without feeling heavy, which is good, because I don't want anything too hefty going on under my makeup. So I'm gonna do my skin, just like my basic skin first, and then I'm gonna do my eyes, and then lips, and then I'll go back and like match the cheek. So, just kind of like basic, hydrated looking skin. Gonna go in with the Kosas Revealer Foundation. Just gonna use about a half pump of it. So I grabbed two concealers to use. I have the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm gonna use this on my under eyes. They're pretty dark right now. I'm gonna let that sit while I go in with the next concealer. I'm gonna use the Ritual Defeat Ethereal Veil. This is like a concealer foundation hybrid from them, I believe. It's pretty full coverage, at least it can be. So I'm gonna like set it on top of the areas that I have some breakouts and redness kind of poking through. A little bit of my melasma zone. And now I'm gonna take just a little tiny pump, a littlest bit more of the Kosas foundation and go back over and blend. Okay, I did a little little light powdering just to set set my makeup. I used the, the Say Air Set powder. So the eyes have this like metallic kind of lived in look, definitely on the top lid and then like kind of like a smudged browns bronzy brown going on that then like kind of goes into this like metallic kind of golden copper so i pulled a bunch of stuff for this i want to like kind of like deepen up my eye area a little bit so i'm gonna go in with glossier sky wash to do this this is in the shade i think it's echo the little color stickers popped off so I'm gonna take this and just kind of define, kind of carve out my eye area. And I'm gonna really take it up against my lashes. No, wrong type of brush, I need something fluffier. Okay. The last couple of times I've done a video, my dog has been in the room with me. <laughs> She is snoring away. This is the NYX Retractable Crayon in bronze. And I'm gonna put this all in my waterline and lash line area. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of let just like kind of naturally smudge as I blink and stuff. And I'll go in and like kind of like blend out the lower lash line when I get to adding some of the more metallic colors there. 
So I'm gonna take this Glossier Lid Star. This is in the shade Branch. I'm gonna put this on my lid. Uh, be careful to not lift up the color that I've already laid down because these have a habit of doing that. But if you you know, let them dry and then tap them. It doesn't seem to do that. Right, just tapping it now with my finger, kind of taking off any of the hard edges and just trying to get it to look a bit more lived in. I am gonna now work on building up some of the metallic areas, kind of inner corners. So it almost looks like it's two-toned, like there's a bit of like bronze that then goes into gold, or maybe it's a copper that goes into gold. So I have this makeup by Mario Master Metals palette. I'm gonna take detailer side of this Rowan eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna pick up some of the kind of bronze shade. she bring it up? No, she doesn't really bring it up on the upper lash, but I'm not the upper lash, the upper lid, but I kind of like how that looks. Just bring it slightly up, taper out a bit more, really let it blend in. Tip into this gold. It might be a little too yellow, so I'll take a little bit of the bronze and mix it with the gold and just spotlight it right there. I'll really blend them in, kind of taper. I'm gonna pick up a little of the copper, see what that does. Lay it over top. Just grabbing a bit more of the bronze and just tapering it a bit more on the lower lash line. Gonna go in with some cream bronzer now and really let it kind of flow into my eye look. I'm using the Tower 28 Bronzino. gonna quickly add a little definition to my brows with the Hourglass Arch Brow. I put on some mascara off camera. I did a little mix of the Glossier Lash Slick and the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water <laughs> and I made a big mess of it so I had to go in and fix, fix my eye look because I got mascara everywhere. So I'm gonna move on to my lips now and I pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven colors to try out. So here's the lips, really beautiful, deep, deep pink color. Of course, I pulled the pink from Violet, but I think this might be a bit bright. So there's that, and then I also grabbed this mini from Armani. This is shade 502, they're like lip mousses. That seems a little bit closer. This vinylic lip from Glossier, Blow Up, the discontinued Playline. Some of the items from the Playline, I'm surprised they didn't like work into the regular Glossier line like these. That I think is a little bit too bubblegum pink. Ritual de Fivru. And then I have uh, Under My Thumb. Power Matte Lip Pigment from NARS. This is a bit more red. Maybe a mix of this with the Giorgio Armani or even with the Violet would work. And then this is probably gonna be way too bright and vibrant. This is a Love Tint from Benefit. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? That's more like a bright watermelon. So I think I am going to layer. I'm going to go in with the NARS first and then like severely blot it down and then go over with the Armani. So we'll see how that looks. I think I need to 
line my lips first. Really sketch out the definition of them. I'm gonna use a nude, a nude lip liner to do that first. Okay, I did a slight overline. This little tiny pimple that's popping up right outside of my lip line area, which is totally gonna make like lip a little bit wonky looking. NARS Power Matte. I'm just gonna do the littlest layer of it and then immediately blot it off. These can be a little tricky because they're so wet, but the applicator is this really nice tip that works really well with this consistency. Do they still make these? I really like them. I only have two of them. I would not be surprised if they discontinued them. I feel like every line discontinues something after like two years and then starts over. It's a bit frustrating though. If you ever fall in love with something or a formula, by the time you go back to buy more, it's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna blot this. All right, now going back over using the Armani. It's looking almost red in the viewfinder, but it's looking quite pink when I look at the mirror. So I don't know, it's, like trans it's translating all right. I don't know, it's kind of close. I feel like mine is still a little bit too red. Honestly, I probably just should have gone with Violet's own brand pink lipstick. It would have been closer. I'll just mix in a little more. See if that makes a difference at all. Okay, I'm gonna take what's left of my lip mixture and just put that on my cheeks and quickly blend it. I feel like I'm missing something. Like maybe the inner corner is not popping white as much as I'd like. I have this glitter. She doesn't actually use glitter in this look, but I have this e.l.f. shimmering gold glitter eyeliner. I'm just gonna add a bit as well. See if that kind of helps give a bit more the boom. I think I also might be looking a tad bit washed out, so I'm gonna add a bit powder bronzer over top. Charlotte Tilbury. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. the most precarious setup. <laughs> I'm balancing my mirror on an opened drawer of my nightstand and then my camera's on a couple of books, so. All right, well, tempted recreation. My necklace, I'm gonna make it lower. I think that'll look cuter. Any like big chunky hoops to go with this look? She has these really amazing earrings in this photo. They're like giant gold, like bobbled earrings. Super cool. They look incredibly painful though. Very glam, but like subdued at the same time. I have these like raspberry pants, corduroy pants I just got that are kind of similar in color to this. I think I'm gonna wear. I'll look a little matchy matchy, but it'd be fun. Anyways, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.